2022, we launched a campaign called This Is Me, Valuing the Lives of People with Learning Disabilities. It came from an idea put forward by people with learning disabilities who told us there needs to be a campaign to help increase awareness and understanding about the health and social inequalities they experience. The campaign shared stories from people with learning disabilities, their family members and supporters, talking about their lives. It highlighted the stigma and discrimination they face in everyday life, from bullying and loneliness to fighting for accessible toilets and calling for change to make Scotland a more inclusive place. We reached over 6 million people with information about This Is Me via social media. This Is Me was featured on STV and BBC Scotland News. Cher is sharing her experiences as part of a new campaign to reduce social inequalities for people with learning disabilities. We won a public engagement award from the University of Glasgow for the campaign. We were invited to present at an international learning disabilities conference in Helsinki. So this is a campaign about challenging stigma, discrimination and inequalities experienced by people with learning disabilities. And NHS Education for Scotland have used the films to train thousands of health and social care staff across Scotland about learning disabilities. At the end of 2022, we held a workshop for people with learning disabilities, family members, carers and supporters to discuss changes they want to see. Here are some of the things they said. Fair treatment. Let us make mistakes and learn. Recognition of people's human rights. We shouldn't need to fight for this better support. We want to have our voice heard. An inclusive society. We want to feel welcomed and included. To help make these changes happen, the group told us we need to see more. Research guided by people with lived experience. Advocacy and support so that more people feel their views are respected and questions answered. Paid employment opportunities. Awareness raising. Compassion, care, consideration choice, flexibility and control in everything that we do, being allowed to participate to ensure that people feel safe and feel respected, accessible venues, appropriate housing and the support to live well independently, college courses that interest and develop me instead of being the easy option, being better informed about health information. What have we learned throughout This Is Me? More action is needed to empower the public to be more proactive in stamping out stigma. Out of 1,000 people surveyed across Scotland, 40% did not feel there was anything they could do personally to eliminate barriers such as bullying and negative language towards people with learning disabilities. Stigma and discrimination have a huge impact on mental health. All of the people who were interviewed talked about the negative impact of stigma and discrimination on their mental health. They referenced isolation, bullying, not being understood, and having to fight for fundamental rights as having a detrimental effect on their well-being. Where next for This Is Me? We have been working to build on some of the recommendations for change that people involved in and responding to This Is Me told us they wanted to see. As a society, we need to be more inclusive. Information should be shared with people with learning disabilities in a way that is clear and easy to understand. This type of work should be guided by people with learning disabilities. Here at the Scottish Learning Disabilities Observatory at the University of Glasgow, we felt we had a unique opportunity to try and address these important points in some way. In 2023, we carried out a pilot project to see whether we could make one key change in the way we work as researchers in order to be more inclusive and to help ensure that people with learning disabilities can guide us to produce health information that is informative and easier to understand. Research for Everyone is a new project where we co-created research outputs with people with learning disabilities, developing animations, infographics and podcasts to make complex health research easier to understand. Working in this way will help us to break down barriers to inclusion, creating opportunities for participation and for people with learning disabilities to lead and inform our work. It is also about encouraging a more inclusive research culture across the University of Glasgow. This is me, valuing the lives of people with learning disabilities is a starting point. There's a long way to go to stamp out stigma and discrimination. But together, 
with people with learning disabilities, families and carers, and partner organisations, as a collective, we can keep taking steps forward towards change.